it's Christmas time, and in Germany that means Weihnachtsmarkt or Christmas markets. Uh, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, a number of them have been uh, canceled, uh, th mostly through the uh, southern part of the country as well. But in Berlin, we still have some open. There would normally be a lot more, but we're going to bring you the sights and sounds of as many as we possibly can, some of the bigger ones. Uh, that would include at the Zoological Garden, uh, in Prenzlauersberg, we've got the Lucia, uh, we've got the Gendarmenmark, which is kind of the upscale one. Uh, please join us for the adventure. Subscribe. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself a good Christmas gift this year. Subscribe. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Ciao for now. See you at the markets. So, Vinox Marks. Christmas markets come in various shapes and sizes and different denominations. Yeah. And here we are at the Lucia Vinox Mark, which has a Scandinavian uh, flavor or theme to it. Blue wine is made of glucky. It's called glucky, and it's made out of um, uh, black currant wine. Okay, I and it's eight percent. Fantastic. Can I try one, please? Yes. Okay. So here we go, like post uh, post ballet class, yeah. And how was your class? Good. And this is the, the Lucia. You, is this Lucia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just get that right. Yeah, right <laughs> yep, I got the shot of that a little bit earlier. And this is the uh, Finland. Correct. I said it's Scandinavian, but it's, the theme is Finland, right? Yeah. And so there's like Finnish delights, and gloggy is one of those things, and we just got a nice explanation. Uh, very hot. Very hot. This is definitely a winter time. This is, and this uh, packs a punch. I think this is a little bit more powerful than uh, a little bit higher in alcohol. This one? Yeah. High and speed. High, high speed. speed high speed. Say. High speed. Blue vine. Blue vine on, one and that's it. Blue vine on steroids. Uh, one thing to remember too, if you come to the Christmas market and it's going to be a little bit extra, they call it fond or a deposit on your, on your cup. Uh, some of them have the names of the Finox uh, Market or the Christmas market. This one is very plain, but just make sure that you bring it back and you'll get another euro. This is a euro font, so make sure if you get a glue vine, turn in your glass for font. Or you could always, the ones that are decorated, you could always just take home a, a cheap souvenir as well. Motorcycle Christmas Parade, Berlin style. Okay, well today it's uh, Spandau, the Spandau uh, Christmas Market. Um, as I said, there's a lot of different uh, Finock Marts or Christmas Marts come in all shapes, sizes, uh, and they all have a, really a personality of their own. Today we're in Spandau, and Spandau is like a suburb of Berlin, basically. It's uh, north, northwest, more west, west, northwest of the city. It's about, well, this is actually pretty amazing. Um, I saw from the train station that the Vinox Mart is set up, and it starts here on this corner behind me. Um, and under normal circumstances, the street that we're looking down now, this would be entirely taken up with different stalls and different offerings for Vinox Mark. Uh, it would extend all the way down to the church at the end of the street that you could see in the distance. And, and in past years, uh, at the base of the church or in the church on the church grounds was a medieval uh, Vinox Mark. Which, had, which was a very interesting, kind of fun, a real different twist on the Vinox Mark. But, and so, under the, under the shadow of uh, COVID, I guess we just have to do the best we can. So it's bratwurst time. Uh, you can find here a lot of the traditional foods that you would find at like normal beer gardens and stuff like that. Um, in this, you could find street vendors, the Touring and Bratwurst. And I always found this really interesting because it looks like you've got, the, you've got the wurst hanging out on both sides. And um, the bread is kind of like a holder. If you look at it, there's a lot of bread for that. So, being a Philly guy, I developed a technique. Little tiny bite off the edge just to test it. 
Oh, good crunch. Touring or worst roast bratwurst. Roast bratwurst. Really tasty, really delicious. Uh, full of fat and grease. You know it's just going to kill you. But it's a great bite. So now, after that first bite, slide it through. Bend it over. And now we've got like an authentic sandwich. Mm. Viva la Deutschland. We're gonna meet Christina. We're gonna go in, uh, give you a little tour of the, the upscale uh, Christmas market in Berlin. And so the Gendarmen Mark of Fronach's location is about two or three blocks uh, but just south of the Unter den Linden, near the Opera and the Humboldt University. So this is a uh, Vinox Mark, high-end uh, gendarme Mark, upscale eating at Vinox Mark. Uh, we kind of went, like instead of eating at the stalls, like I tried a um, roast crop course outside at, in the standout mar uh, market, Christmas market, uh, here you could have like real sit-down eating with like a full staff, waiters, waitresses. What is your favorite like Vinox Mark, your Christmas market food? Do you have a favorite? You grew up um, with these. Yeah, I, I don't like that much haxa <laughs> or frank loves. I... I got the haxa. Now the haxa is a, a pork knuckle. Um, these are baked, I guess. Yeah. The haxa is baked. Yeah. Actually, this is half of the knuckle. I thought traditionally you get the whole thing. But this is the knuckles. Yeah. You can see the outside is just covered. This is the with best why everybody wants this because the fat is really crusty yeah. and, and surrounded. And that's more from like the southern part of Germany. Yes. Northern Germany, like in Berlin, if you get the same dish, they boil it. And so it's really. The meat inside has a really good taste. Um, it's, it's tender, very, very tender, very juicy, very succulent, good word for it. Um, but it's it's really kind of the fat on the outside instead of having this real crusty fat. This is, you can hear the crack. It's real crusty. Not great for you, but it's really, really tasty. Mm. Yeah, and the greens, they have like, a, they have some pork or bacon inside, you can taste it. Yes, it's very würzig, also würzig is spicy, but in a... But not spicy, not... But not spicy, in a hot way, spicy in a... Good words. Nice, nice, nice spices. Nice taste. Spices. Very nice taste. Yeah, nice spices. Yeah, yeah. it's a chicken schnitzel. Yeah, it's chicken schnitzel, usually schnitzel is a little bit thinner, in my yeah. small experience, but... That's hot. Nice breading, very crispy. Um, the chicken inside is really tender and moist, I think. It's yummy stuff on a cold winter afternoon in December, just before Christmas, at a Christmas party. The one thing that's like totally amazing about the Vinox Marks is like I can bring you the sights and you get some of the sounds and stuff, but it's a total assault on your senses. I, this, the smells here, the sounds, the, it's just so engulfing. Can you name how many foods? There's like there's tons of food and stuff. How many foods could you name quickly from Vinox Mark? Any idea? We've got like boars. Grünkohl, uh, Grünkohl, Grün, Grün, uh, Champignons, Wiener Schnitzel, uh, Steak, oh, right, Bratwurst uh, with Pommes, uh, Langos, Borst. this Hungarian thing, Langos. then um, Kassler, oh, then Pommes again, then... Uh, it is a, it, it's an assault on your senses. Waffeln, Waffeln. It's, it's you ex how does it, how, waffles, how much, what does it smell like right now? <laughs> to you. This is like full of smell, right? I mean, it's like outrageous. It's an assault on the senses, I tell you. It's an assault on the senses. I'm a Schwanzwein for them.
And what is really great about the Alexander uh, Platz location for the Vinox Mark or the Chris Mark is that first it's really easy to find. You could see the the tower from almost anywhere in the city. And this is kind of cool because you kind of get a double dip at Alexander Platz. Behind me right now is the kind of the iconic Ferris wheel. And when you, you, were, you were just sitting on the benches, and what did yeah. you notice about the benches? Well, the benches are warm because there's a heater. And there's a heater. Precisely yeah. like... Heated seats in the reason rod <laughs> is super. <laughs> and could you tell us, we're at, we're at uh, the Neptune... Uh, well, we're Mar now in the really center, center, of the, center of Berlin, actually. It's like, if you, hear, if you see, this is the Red Rathaus. This is the government place. So we have there the Alexander Turm. This is the highest building uh, so far with this tower. Then we have like all those old, um, actually they are 80s buildings where people still live in, of course, and there are shopping malls all, all, all over. Um, and of course, uh, from here you have a great view. Just and the church? Right behind of you is the, yeah, this is one of the oldest churches in Berlin. I think actually it is the oldest one. I think it's the Marienkirche. This is the uh, Binox Mark at the Europa Center. Uh, it's also the site of the Gedenkniskirche, which is kind of a memorial church that's been left here. Uh, you've seen it in a number of the other videos that we've done. A kind of reminder of the, the ruins and the remains of the World War II. Uh, it's also the location of in uh, December uh, 19th, 2016, was, uh, the, there was an attack. Somebody drove through. 11 people died during that and several people were injured. Um, on a daily basis, you can see candles lit here. It's always remembered that event, and this is the this is the Vinox Mart in the center of the city. It's like right next to the zoological garden. And next Mangoes, we decided is really magical because we ate it and uh, Christina turned into a Hungarian drummer by the name of Richard. <laughs> Hi. No, really, it was just an operator pr a problem last time, but this is very fortunate because we get a real Hungarian to eat Hungarian uh, street food. Uh, the review on the last one was that it was it was it's like pizza free, it's like taking pizza dough, putting it in oil like we used to do in Philly, yeah. and it'd get this nice, light, crispy, delicate wonderful thing and that's exactly what the langos was that i had in my experience it was light crusty almost a little crunch to it and then it's got a nice savory flavor and so this isn't as crispy this could have cooked longer i think try it see what you think is it up to hungarian uh this is not the original langur. What's different? What is on this? This is this is small. This is small. Small. Okay. In Hungary, and this is bigger. Yeah. And thin, thin. This is thin, thin, thin. 
thin. Thin. This yes. is thin. Thin. It's thicker in Hungary. No. And thinner Hungary is thinner. thinner. Okay. Okay. Uh, than the. Okay. Than this. So we got an authentic review here from our Hungarian field reporter. We would like to wish you and yours a Hungarian Merry Christmas from Berlin <laughs> yes. and Langoland. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry. We are now, uh, we're just across on the other side. We're still at Alexanderplatz. To be honest, this side is used to be much larger. This one is reduced in size and uh, it, it's much less crowded and, and the offerings that they have there, far, it has far less to offer. There aren't the rides and the Santa Claus flying through the sky or anything like that. But the fare is good. We wanted to get something else warm. Uh, this is a, this is Kaza. Not Kassel. 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 Kassel is a city in the middle of Germany and Kassel is well known for its cooked meat. Cooked meat and this like is sour, sour, sour. This is sour sour with um, our fragment hot haksa which which yeah. oh, it's uh, white, white white cabbage and uh, kasla oh, yeah. it's not haksa white cabbage and kasla white oh, okay. cabbage you know it's wonderful mm. thank you very nice people here actually it is said that the berliner berliners are not that nice but it's not true he, maybe he's not from berlin yeah. mm. <laughs> Just a thought. Yeah. Anyway, and so this is the, the this is the Haxa. Is this still Haxa in here? Is it no. Hassler Haxa? Yeah, vielleicht. This is from the Haxa. But it doesn't look like it. This looks like uh, pork, basically. Yeah. Hmm. 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 You like? I do it. I love it. Well. If you ever grew up eating like, um, I know it's white cabbage. Uh, it tastes like, it has a sauerkraut taste to it. Uh, but if you ever grew up, we and I grew up, we used to eat sauerkraut with pork ribs in it. And it's got that, that pork flavor to the to the pork meat, of course. But you can have different flavors of pork. Like the hox has got a more of a roasted. This has got a boiled. It's been in this, uh, in with the cabbage for like a very long time. That's true, that gives a taste. It gives a different taste and it just falls apart. It reminds me a little bit of uh, when we were at Herschel's at, on, uh, when we were at Herschel's, the Reading Terminal, the way that the corned beef just in the Reuben just like fell apart. It was like beautiful, cut against the grain. You don't even need to chew it. You just, you just move it around in your mouth and it just falls apart. It's really amazing. And so, before this gets like cold, this is the typical thing. Yeah, do you know how? I, I gave a, I gave how I do this. Do you know how I do this? Yeah. Okay. You open it oh, and you break it. it into parts and then you put it inside. I take the... one little bite off the edge. Okay. Just one little tiny bite just to really taste the forest. Go ahead. Me. Now, slide the leaner through the roll. And turn it. I'm gonna. Are you gonna break the worst? Oh, you want me to break the worst? Well, I, I want you to do what you want, but. Uh, no, it's too anstrengend. <laughs> <like this. laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so the, so the official verdict was it's too on strength or too stressful to break it in half. So it's, cold, it's the German way. Oh. Candy covered almonds. Beautiful. Little dessert after all that uh, <laughs> stick to your ribs kind of fare. 
that's going to just just about wrap up our uh, little tour, the mini tour of Vinox Marks Christmas Markets in Berlin. Thanks so much for joining us. We'd like to wish you, from the Packer Avenue family to your family, a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you again next Christmas. Well, actually, see you. See you again soon on the continued adventures of Packer Avenue.